class. Um, some class I started with this and other class I did this already and then we didn't finish back here. And then, um, so I'm going to start with where we, this class, we did all this and um, not finished front. So depending on the class. Area shaded region, we have half a circle. Okay, because it's half. So its area is pi r squared divided by 2 for half. So area equals pi times the radius. That's diameter is 20. Radius then is 10. Squared divided by 2, you get area is 157.1 uh, rounded to the nearest tenth. Half a circle, I mean a rectangle. Um, rectangle is um, length times width and so the length is um, 20 the width is 13 so you get 260 area of the rectangle you add them together um, total area equals to 417.1 um, feet squared Okay, and then next one is you got a circle, okay, and a rectangle. Um, area of a circle, we'll do rectangle first because it has length and width. Okay, so area is length times width, area is um, five times 12, which is 60. Okay. Um, area is then for that one for rectangles that circle it is um, areas pi r squared areas pi times radius and whatever radius is squared there's no radius um, notice this diameter is missing or this diameter is missing so we need to find the diameter by using Pythagorean theorem a squared plus b squared equals to c squared. a is 5 plus 12. We square them equals to diameter squared. That's what we're trying to find. Okay, um, diameter squared equals 169. And the square root of that is diameter is 13. Diameter 13, radius is then 6.5. So we put 6.5 as our radius here. We square them, use a calculator, and you should get the answer of 132.7. Subtract for total area, you subtract 132.7 minus 60. We have that equal to 72.7 inches squared as your total area. Okay. This one here, we got income is because she's making flowers, selling them for $3 each. So that's your income line. You can graph that. Um, I like to answer 7 first. F, y-intercept. The y-intercept is um, for income is 0 because that's add 0, 0, 0, or just 0 right there. We go up. Okay. It died on me, so uh, let's try that again. Technology is only as good as um, if it's working, right? It's not working. Hmm. All right, let's try it again. Show all. Okay. There we go. And then y intercept is 0, 0. And here the rate of change, your, or if the word slope for um, income is 3 over 1. Um, you don't need to write what it means. Just want to know. Well, $3 for each flower. Okay. That's what it means. Okay. So you go up 3 over 1, up 3 over 1, up 3 over 1, 
and then you graph that line. This is um, income line. Okay, and then you do that for the cost. Cost, um, the cost, we can't, we have to use point slope because they gave you two points, y minus uh, 9 equals, we don't know yet, m, x minus 11. We can find m by doing y sub 2 minus y sub 1 over x sub 2 minus x sub 1. So y sub 2 is um, 11 minus 9, so that's 2, that's 15 minus 11, which is over 4, which is a half half right here, 1 half x plus, that's a negative 5.5. Put in your calculator, y plus negative 9, add 9, add 9, you get y equals to 1 half x plus 3.5. Now graphing that, um, the y-intercept um, for the um, cost is this 3 here, 3.5. So you start here, that's 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 3.5 is right in the middle. Okay, the rate of change or the slope is, is um, a half right here, 1 over 2, $1, one dollar for every two flowers, okay, is um, For the cost. So you go, okay, from there you go up one, right here, over two, it's right there, up one over two, 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 and all the way to the very end. And you connect the dots and label it cost. And this is called one solution. This is a graph is called one solution. If you look at it, the rate of change here is a half. I'll put, and the rate of change here is three. So you know it's one solution because the rate of change is um, different. So basically different slope. Okay, we'll help you define. And I told my class not to do D. Um, for most class and then all our class we finished this all in class so we did all this some class we didn't do these so I'll go on the other one to explain how to do the last page okay um, this last page here all right for here we um, for number one, we solve this first into slope-intercept form by dividing it all, and you get that. We want to know the equation for, for these two lines right here. We put it into ordered pair, and we want to know the equation. We want to know what in y equals, so we can compare in slope-intercept form, so we can compare slope and y-intercept. So y minus 10 equals to slope x minus uh, 2. We need to find slope here, so it's um, 14 minus 10 over 4 minus 2. So 4 over 2, so the slope is um, 2, right? So 2 goes there. So add it, distribute 2x minus 4, y minus 10. So we add 10, add 10. We get y equals to 2x plus 6. So y equals 2x plus 6. Notice it's the exact same thing. So this is going to be infinite solution. Because slope and y-intercept are the same. Okay, and then this is, we solve this one. Here we minus 9 to both sides, then divide by 3. We got this. This is a negative 3. And we know the slopes are different, so it's going to be one solution. 
So same thing, thing here, we got rid of that, minus 3x, 3x, we have um, 0, 2y equals 12 minus 3x, divide by 2, we get y equals, the slope here is negative 3 over 2x plus 6. So this is different, so this is going to be one solution also, because slope's different. different slope. And here we finish, most, most class we finish, and most kids know how to do this. DE is congruent to, this is congruent to Y, um, BC is congruent to, this is congruent to W or N, not sure. Um, and then our last side, BE, at the bottom here is congruent to this letter Z right there. Okay, here you need to um, make this into a decimal. Anytime you have this, you make it into a decimal first. 0 0.06, 0 0.80, 0 0.14, the decimals. And then multiply it by the total calories here, times 3,500, times 3,500. Okay, and then you get... Um, 210 here, you get 2800 here, you get um, 490 here. And then after that, you take these calories and divide by that there. And because these are ounces, you need to multiply. Oh, these are not, that's one, that's two. And that's 2, I believe. You multiply this by 10 and multiply this by 14. So for one day, you get um, 20 ounces, and then this is 28 ounces. And then after that, you multiply by the 8 boys times 8. You get 8 apples. Um, and then times that for five days, 40 apples. And 160 times five, get um, 800. And then so, so on and so forth. And then you, you have to write, the coach needs to buy. Mrs. Ronald, please call extension 24503. Mrs. 40 Ronald, apples. 800 ounces of pasta and some whatever ounces of lemonade. Okay, that's how you do that. Um, give me the ounces of lemonade. That should help.